Folks, I know what this looks like. I know this looks like a high speed ankle monitor from my parole officer, but it's nowhere near that, okay? I promise you. This is what you call a monkey foot. And if you haven't seen it on your social media feeds already, we're gonna go over the complete, full, and honest review for you. We're gonna give you the pricing of this bad boy and the complete product details and also show you how to work it completely. So like, share, pass it along to anybody that you think is gonna need this or might wanna buy this right here. But before you do, let's get started. So let's get right into the pricing of this thing. This will run you 75 US dollars. And it comes just like this as you can see, really small and I can wrap it with both hands. And also it wrapped up in this nifty carry bag like that and wrapped up in this box and you pull it out. And it also comes with a lengthy instruction manual. Next question you might add, how much does this weigh? Can I lift it up with one finger, two fingers, or my whole hand? Well, actually, this won't even run you about a pound. Well, to be exact, 1.2 pounds, okay? Technically, you can carry in that bag inside your gym bag or any other bag that you decide to take with you to the gym and bring this out wherever you want. So that's the cool thing about it. It's very small, compact, and it weighs just one pound. And when I first received this, you know what I asked? Is this gonna be able to handle my crazy Quadzilla quads? Well, this can hold up to 160 pound dumbbell. Man, I tried it with the 15 pound dumbbell I had, I was already having problems. There's no issue with stacking the weight on here as long as it can fit and lock comfortably inside these latches. So if you're a big man, go ahead, up to 160 pounds. Hey, if you can do it, show me, send me the link, I'll be your number one support. So this is made of plastic. You can hear that clacking sound? That's the sound of plastic and when I got it, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna spend 75 of my hard earned dollars on something like this, if I don't like it for any reason, is this gonna be like a Jeff Bezos and take it back, no, no problems, or am I gonna have some hassle? Well, it turns out that if you have any issues with this, within 30 days, you can send it back and get your full money back. Or if it breaks down, it has a one year limited warranty. So check the disclaimer on there, check all the fine print, see what it says, and you can return this bad boy back to him. Don't like it. Back at them, all right? First class, they'll take it, yeah. All right, here's a quick demo, very easy to set up. My wife's gonna show you exactly how to do it. She's gonna grab the monkey foot, then her desired weight, it comes open like that at the bottom, like a clamp, seat it nicely in there, and then clamp it back over, and it's in the locking mechanism. And if you wanna pull it all the way back, good. Slide your foot in, and go ahead and stick the latch on and just tighten. Yep, just like that until it's at your desired comfort area. And there you go, it's on. And to remove the monkey foot, Marceline is done working out. She's gonna get it go towards that monkey foot, release the latch all the way till it comes apart and remove your feet. And there you are. One, two, three, easy. And did I forget to mention that it comes with four leg workouts and it shows you right on this paperwork right here and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's get to it. So let's start with the pros on this monkey foot. Number one, it's gonna be pretty convenient to have. If you don't have the availability of this gym right here that we do, you can carry it wherever you wanna go. Put it into your work bag, briefcase, or your gym bag, and it can be right there next to you, especially for the folks that actually work at home or work in a space where they're confined to one area. They can just pop that out of their bag and do three or four sets, leg curl, leg extension, or whatever the exercise they want to do for that day. Next, durability. The question is always gonna come up, is this thing durable and is it gonna last? If I put it in my bag and it gets dropped four, five, 20, 50 times, is it gonna break? To me, 
just seeing it plastic wise already deters me that it's anything really durable. Looking at it, it looks like it's gonna break apart. But to give it full and honest review, I'd say that it is durable to hold on the dumbbell, but if you were planning to walk around with this, meaning if you were trying to walk to a certain spot to conduct these exercises while having it on, I think it's not gonna withstand and it's gonna break. And you're probably gonna have to use that 30 day money back guarantee maybe before even the 30 days. The other pro that we wanna talk about is that it's very user friendly, folks. Like you saw, my wife, she was able to put that together in a matter of seconds. And it's very easy to use. It's about a three step process. It comes with the directions over there. And it's really, like I said, none of the stuff over here is rocket scientists. So we don't want it to be because for me in particular, I'm a meathead. I wanted to be able to put that thing right away and do my exercise. All right, lastly, the good thing about this machine is that it isolates that muscle group that you want to focus on. So for example, it had a very good isolation uh, when it comes to the hamstring muscle. And I know that a lot of people mistrain or don't really train enough of the hamstring muscle and their legs are really unbalanced. And when you do that, you run into posture issues and all kinds of crazy ailments that you don't even want to think about. So this one right here, it really isolates that muscle and that, that muscle that you're targeting. So I would give it a thumbs up, the uh, isolation. All right, now the bad part. We gotta go over the cons, okay? Because there's good and there's bad. It's a necessary component, so let's go over the very first thing. Pricey, yes, to us, $75, like we said, we are really, really cheap skates and frugal people. And when we buy a piece of equipment, you see us, we do the research, we experiment it, we ask questions, we make sure it has warranties. We want to make sure that we get the most bang for our buck because just like you guys, we work hard for our money. Every day we go out, we go away from our families to get this paycheck that we're ready. We want to, we want to buy something that's worth it, okay? So to us, the con is going to be 75 bucks way too much. All right, you guys, monkey foot, maybe if you're watching this, reduce it down. I would like to see maybe two attachments if I was gonna pay $75 because people wanna work out, but they don't want it to cost an arm and a leg, get it? This one's gonna cost an ankle, like literally, because I, the thing was not comfortable at all. And that's what we're gonna go into next, comfortability, okay? Uh, basically, I wore it for about five minutes, conducted three sets of some leg workouts that you did earlier, and my ankle back here, was already hurting uh, in the back of my heel, just walking around in them, trying to demonstrate to you guys. And this wasn't even a planned exercise uh, program, and uh, I was doing it just off the, off the spur. Okay, so comfortability, no go. Safety, and you know us here at FitStep, we're really hard on safety, okay? Make sure that when you're using this, you're able to walk around with some weight on your ankle and you don't have any physical constraints. So if you have like an ankle injury, I mean, It'll probably behoove you not to use this on your ankle, okay? Maybe not the ankle that's affected, maybe use the other ankle, but then you run into the problem of muscle imbalances like we were talking earlier. Lastly, okay, I know you saw the uh, monkey foot attached to the dumbbells here. Just like batteries, they're not included with this one, okay? It's manual, you have to do everything by hand. There's nothing automatic, and also the dumbbells are not included as well. So make sure when you buy this to already have dumbbells, and to ensure that these dumbbells fit this foot attachment. So do your homework, you guys. For us here, it attached well to our dumbbells, so it worked. Okay, and now I'm gonna give you my honest, honest opinion about the monkey foot. I am not gonna invest $75 on some equipment that um, is basically gonna hurt my ankles or cause some kind of physical pain to me uh, five minutes into using the actual equipment. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to my leg monster, leg curl machine here. Uh, it does me wonders, but like I said, if the pros hit you guys well, and this is something that you would like to see a traveling companion with, or something that you can put together and use at your workplace or somewhere, and you find this helpful, then please use it and try it out for 30 days. Hey man, what's the worst that can happen? Sending it back? Man, I bet you got a good arm. Throw that thing back. They'll take it within 30 days, full money back. Guarantee. But for me personally, I don't have any way to utilize it because I have the necessary tools that I need to build these massive legs already. Okay? Alright? So if you would like some tips on those, please watch our other videos on fitness and also our home gym reviews on other equipment. What would you rate it? I would rate this a three. Only because it has some good pros, but the cons outweigh the pros for me. Because 
I don't need that small piece of plastic and I don't need to spend $75 on it if I don't have it. So use your head. If $75 seems like enough for you to pay for that, I'm telling you with my expertise and my experience, there's other modified exercises that you can do without that, which if you look at the videos that we created for you, they come with explanations and full details on how to develop legs. If you found any of this helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything because we're gonna be coming at you with more reviews so we can help you make the determination that you need for your home gym requirements.